I got sent to the principal's office with my buddy Mike for singing American Pie. Principal told us if we could sing it all, we could go back to class, if not detention. We sang it, the whole damn thing. Teachers of Reddit, what is the funniest treason you've had to send someone to the principal's office? What's up my lesbians? Just kidding, I know that 90% of my viewers are males. So what's up my bro, thanks for coming to watch another story time from Alien Radio. Since you're here, can you please like the video and subscribe? This way you won't miss any more story times with your favorite narrator, Andrew. If you do, I'll make sure to send you a waifu body pillow. Anyways, let's get into the stories. Kid dropped a folder full of Xeroxed copies of his hairy ass. Turns out he had been taping them to people's lockers all over school. Kid in boarding tried to cook a whole raw chicken with like 5 minutes in the microwave. The whole chicken. My dad worked as a teacher in a school for misguided youth, on the first day, he wrote his name on the board as new teachers do, and when he turned back toward the class, a kid had lit his desk on fire with hairspray and was just laughing. Three foot high flame no more than a foot away from him. Two of my fifth grade students were arguing on our way to music class, so I went over to see why they were talking in line. I asked what was going on, and the first kid said that the other kid had called him gay. The second kid looked me straight in the eye and said, I didn't call him gay. I called him a bitch. I sent them on their way to the principal's office and sarcastically thanked them for the extra paperwork. I worked in a computer-based classroom at one point where students took many of their classes online. Some tried to cheat the system by copying and pasting short phrases into all the fill-in-the-blank or essay responses, hoping it'd glitch and pass them through quickly discovered one student had just been pasting homo 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 into all his responses, which backfired pretty well in one particular instance. Q. Copy the words that apply to you. A. Homo homo homo. Girl got so drunk that she locked herself in the bathroom. We found her and obviously had to call her parents to come take her home. We kept telling her, listen, it's your dean and you have to unlock the door. She kept responding in the horrible drunk teenager voice, no you listen I'm your dean. It was very difficult for us to not break down in laughter. Stupid kids. We were doing sketch comedy in sixth grade a few years back, and seeing as it was a nice day we went outside to practice. From across the field I see one of my students very clearly and aggressively trying to put his junk on a prone classmate. When I asked him, he said it was for his sketch, and he was playing a character named the Iron Teabag. The best was the follow-up text from my boss saying, I had to Google what teabagging was before I met with the kid. Kid walked into my room. Mr. Spodson, I got a joke you will love. Is it school appropriate? I think so, here it is. Why are Catholics glad Jesus was crucified and not stoned? I don't know, why? Because now they do this, he makes the sign of the cross. Instead of this, he starts punching himself randomly all over. Okay, you have to go tell that one to Mr. The Dean. Dean laughs his ass off too and sends him back to class. To this day it is my favorite joke. Not a teacher, but we had an older lady as a science substitute in 8th grade. It was a hot June day and the windows were open, we were on the second floor. My friend told the sub when she walked in the classroom that Jimmy had fallen out the window. When the sub looked out the window she saw Jimmy laying on the ground, contorted and she passed out. We never got a chance to explain to her that it was joke. He had just laid down on the sidewalk under the window. The two boys got suspended, and that sub never came back. Edited to add. In New England it's not uncommon to go to school through June, especially if there are a lot of snow days. Teacher ended up fine, just decided she didn't want to put up with us punks anymore. Not a teacher, but a classmate in my drafting class was sent to the dean for 3D rendering a massive dong. My teacher saw it, commended him for his work, and asked him to print it out. He then stapled it to a referral and sent him to the dean. Glorious. For clarification. A referral is bad in this case, and we printed things in 2D back then and liked it. There was a student with autism who lived in a very literal world, we'll call him, T. You had to be precise with your words as T could not comprehend slang or figurative language. 
He had an issue with another student at recess the day prior. It was something minor about a basketball. Basically, T had a basketball and placed it under the goal and walked away, another student grabbed it, T became angry, and ultimately gave the ball to the other student rather begrudgingly. Apparently, T told his uncle and the uncle's response was, I'd have made that kid eat a crap sandwich. Well, T made a quick stop by the litter box before coming to school. He also wrote a note to the other kid saying, I get the ball today, you can have this crap sandwich. It wasn't a gesture he viewed as inappropriate, he actually thought the crap sandwich was a viable option for the other student. I had to send him to the office, but my god did I laugh. Even his mom laughed before apologizing. The principal still has the note in the office two years later. <laughs> Mrs. B, I have a question. I think it might be a dumb question. Sweetie, there's no such thing as a dumb question. My brothers told me this though. So there might be. Fair. What is it? Okay, so you know Michael Jackson right? He was like kinda old, so I think you'd know about him. Yeah, Han, he was even a thing when my mom was a kid. Wow. But yeah. So you've seen Thriller right, when they play it around Halloween. Yeah, I love that video. Okay, well my brothers told me that Michael Jackson was really a werewolf and a zombie, and I just wanted to ask. Was he really a werewolf? Or a zombie? No dear. I knew it. I knew Michael Jackson wasn't a zombie. He's still dead, and they're full of crap. Several students head and gasped, otherwise I never even think I would have sent him to the office. I was about to die laughing. And he wasn't wrong either. I knew his brothers, and they were both consistently full of crap. Edit. Because my inbox is getting overflowed, I feel the need to explain. He was sent to the office for cursing in front of other students. I did not make school policy regarding cursing, but he was 6 years old and at that age saying crap is generally discouraged. His brothers totally were full of crap though. Can I tell you what I did instead of kicking a kid out? I was covering another teacher's class in a computer lab, and we have a program called Net Support that basically allows you to spy on all the kids' computers. It also serves some legit instructional purposes like allowing you to take control of a kid's computer so you can demonstrate things. Only this teacher never used it so I don't think the kids knew it existed. I don't normally use it because I don't like the big brother vibe it gives off, but there was a kid being a total obnoxious jerk. He was looking up stupid and distracting videos and laughing loudly about them and making obnoxious comments to show off in front of his friends. I could have blocked YouTube, but instead I took control of his computer. I started typing in kitten videos into YouTube. My little ponies anything I could think of that wouldn't be cool to him or his friends. Then every time he started to freak out and insist he wasn't doing it to his friends, I gave him control back. And then took it away again. Then finally I made a little pop-up come up on his screen that said, I'm watching you. I expected him to figure out what was going on, but I think he got freaked out instead. It never seemed to occur to him that it was me. So I gave him control back and he did his work quietly for the rest of the class. So, this doesn't quite fit the question, but I can't tell this story without laughing so here it is. I used to work in a super strict school for kids who got kicked out of their regular schools. We had an assembly twice a day, morning and afternoon, that was extremely serious. Kids had to sit up straight with their hands in their laps, girls on one side and boys on the other. Totally silent. That kind of thing. Occasionally when we were having behavior problems with entire groups we'd make them sit in assembly for the remainder of that period, or however long until they could get it together. There was a class, middle schoolers, naturally, who could not. Stop. Farting. They'd intentionally fart as loud as they could just to be gross and disruptive, and it even evolved into them getting up out of their seats and farting on each other. This is hilarious to me now, but it got really old and really smelly. Anyway, one day, it was happening so much throughout each class that we took them to assembly. I'm standing in the front with the other teachers, and our principal was talking to them. Except he was pissed. So he's pacing back and forth, re-aiming these kids out, punching his fist into his hand, spit flying out of his mouth. His face is bright red. He's saying all this stuff about respect, and then he adds in oh, and if you have to fart, and he yelled the word fart with such venom and disdain, 
that I just lost it right there in front of everyone. I could not stop laughing. I tried to play it off like a coughing fit or something, but I couldn't. I had to leave the room. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.